Hi, Andy Ruzica with STL TV spotlighting a local upcoming feature film featuring the activist, rapper, state politician Bruce Franks. The movie's going to be called St. Louis Superman, and I'm joined by its filmmaker, its creator, uh, John Alston, who went from breaking up plays in the NFL to now breaking the box office. So, John, thank you so much for joining me and uh, taking time out to talk about the film today. I appreciate you having me on to talk about it, Andy. Um, it's... Well, tell me about you know your background as a filmmaker. You you were obviously played in the NFL. Uh, did you have an interest in filmmaking before the days of the NFL, or did you start playing and then it after you retired that okay, this is something I really want to pursue? No, you know, growing up, I always loved like comic books and 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 television and film, and it was the arts were something that was just always something that's interesting interesting to me. Um, when I got to Stanford the first time around, I, I studied public policy with some dramatic writing in my background, but didn't really want to jump all the way into the arts, you know? So I focused on football, got drafted, and I played um, for five years. And I think uh, before my last season, I, I did a, did a, did a sem like this one of these semesters or, or months at this at, at New York Film Academy in New York, and you always see the advertisements. And it was actually really eye-opening because I, I, I kind of really liked filmmaking and working with the camera and working with actors and things like that. And so, that would that's something that kind of continued to carry over and, and, and stick within me as far as filmmaking is concerned. Uh, after I retired, I made a movie in New York and that's on iTunes and stuff like that premiered at St. Louis International Film uh, Film Festival. And then I went back to school. I got a degree in film media studies at Stanford and I got to USC for grad school and then just really immersed myself in the world uh, that way. And then um, I guess, you know, I, I, I wrote two seasons on All American, uh, the CW Netflix show, and now I'm focused on the, the feature film for, for Bruce because, you know, um, we invest a lot of time, and a lot of effort in, in, in building that story out. And I think it's just really, really pertinent to the time that we're living in. And so Bruce's story is, is quite amazing as someone who did actually lift themselves up from their own bootstraps and became something that uh, mattered to people. And so uh, that's a story I really want to tell. Um, so again, about this particular film, St. Louis Superman, and what drew you directly to this film, though? I know you had some St. Louis roots. You played for the Rams for just a few years, I guess. Um, what drew you specifically to Bruce Franks? Well, you know, aside from the, the familial connection, but with Bruce, Bruce's story, um, first of all, just to know Bruce, just to know a very, very intelligent, heart, like very sensitive, um, like just a very caring, but also just a clever, clever person. I mean, like Bruce is um, one of the most fascinating people I've ever met, you know, um, because I know from where I'm from, Louisiana, a very small town to, to where I've been and the things that I've seen, I know the advantages that people have um, to do the things that he's done. Uh, he didn't have the same advantages. You know what I mean? Uh, and I would say even less advantaged than I was in so many ways, but to have the courage to lead as he has on so many different levels um, is just fascinating. But then you can talk about um, what he endured uh, over, you know, 300, almost 400 nights protesting in the streets. Um, and then to, to, to go and to, to say, okay, well, I'm gonna be a unifier after this right, to work with police um, and then to run for office in a civilized manner in a way, um, and then to impact change there. It says a lot about the brain of a person who can evolve through these various like stages in life, combining that journey, being authentic and true to the self, and then going out and achieving something that others have not. Um, we need more people like Bruce in, in politics. And so I think that story um, spoke to me personally, but also it speaks to the time. How far are you along in the process? When do you anticipate the film being uh, readily available? Oh man, readily available. That, that, that takes time. Let's get to, let's get to, let's get to these funds. And, and if everything goes well, we can, we can film it this year. That'd be great. Um, but you know, just getting through that screenplay, it's a very, very difficult story to tell. There are many stories just like it. So, um, you know, when you're talking about a, a portrait of a person who's who's living with people who experienced it living at the same time, a lot of a lot of boxes to be checked. But um, hopefully, hopefully, we it'd be out in 2022. That'd be that'd be best. 
Well, um, is there anywhere, anywhere people can follow the, the, the timeline or follow the movie as you kind of curate the process? Do you have a Facebook or Instagram? Yeah, just follow, just follow me on, on Instagram at the.alston. Um, that's re really easy where I kind of keep things updated until I build out the sites and things of that nature. But um, right now, like I said, we've got a, another um, social justice-based short film moving right now called Augustus. And um, like I said, we're, we're, we're in the running for the, um, we're Academy qualified. So we're, we're out there right now, you know, getting voters on our side and got to get that one moving. And so um, St. Louis Superman is next. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for your time. I'm so excited. I cannot, I'm going to see it myself. So I'm excited for this film. Yeah, it's going to be good. Thank you so much. This has been uh, Spotlight, the film uh, St. Louis Superman. We'll be following the progress. For STL-TV, I'm Andy Rizika.